Hello everyone, welcome to my Weird and Wonderful World. I'm going to show you some of my favorite DVD box sets. I've already showed you my top 10 favorite movies of all time. Well, the ones I did have, and then some. But then, now I want to show you, in no particular order, but there is a small reason behind the order I did put them in, actually. But with my rating of them, well, I, I should give them these box sets a rating anyway these are ones that I had to have in my collections because I do love these well we're starting off with TV shows box sets and transitioning into my movie box sets and you'll see these are I only have six of them here I want to show you I do have more stuff in my collection but that would be for another time these ones here are in particular kind of special because I really do love them well, we're just going to start off for the from the very first TV show that I ever watched as a kid. Besides Spider-Man cartoons, which was my one of my favorite things. And I'm talking about when I was like a like 2, 3 years old. And by the time that I got to see them, they were already in syndication and I'm talking about my my Star Trek the original series box set. Now, these are the complete the complete series of all three seasons of Star Trek. With, and I swear, when I was a kid, my probably my first words were either Kirk or Spock. I, I I kid you not. I was obsessed with this show. This was, and still is in many ways, one of my favorite TV shows of all time. Now, these are the remastered with all new special, like, they, they really cleaned up all the special effects, new shots of the ships, every every scene of the, every time you see them going around a planet, is a every new world that they explore is all new. I'll kind of open this up. I'm not particularly happy with the presentation of that. I wish they were coming in, in like s s three separate this because it's really hard to keep track of. You'll, you'll see that you, you have the seasons and each season every time there's a new season it has a different they'll have a different logo on it that one is the circle one for the second season and then you get to the third season well you'll see when I because this here is all kind of separate it comes it comes out of the box you get the last one there and you see that, that the third season has that symbol to it on the on the disc itself because it comes out um i keep i try to baby this i try to keep this in the best conditions i can i'll stick that here just for the moment and can show you that the whole listing there of every of everything that's in there and it has so many special features so many you have the seasons on each disc you have like maybe like three to four episodes each and every so often on a certain disc they'll have a, like special features there's there's hours of special features i really love this box set and i when i bought this actually second hand for forty dollars and i couldn't really afford it when i bought it but i had the money on me and i and i couldn't pass up the opportunity to get this because it was just fantastic I try to watch them as often as I can, but I uh, I'm due to watch them again soon enough. I, I love I love collecting DVDs and CDs and stuff. As you know, I would rather have the physical copy of something than than the digital form on on Phantom Air or what you know on the internet whatever. This is the way to go. Now another show uh, and I always love this show. And as you see, I have a picture of it up in the corner up here. You can't really see right now. But I'll show you here. It's the greatest American hero. And then, of course, this is the complete series. There is like a kind of a made-for-TV special that, was, that came out after this series that I don't have. But if I ever find it on DVD somewhere, be sure I want to get it. But I always loved, loved this show with... with uh, the, with um, Cat Williams as the uh, greatest American hero who plays Ralph Hink Hinkley or Hinkle, depending on, on the episode you're watching. And then you get uh, Connie, uh, Connie Selica 
uh, as uh, Pam as Pam, and then you have uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, Culp. His last name was Culp. Uh, what's his first name again? Uh, Robert Culp. Yeah, as Bill Maxwell, and yet Connie Selica as Pam da Dawson. I I knew that was, but I had to just to make sure that I get those right, and yeah. I really, I really love this series. It what is it's, it, I have really fond memories of watching this, and I wish they would have did it a little. The whole premise of of him losing the booklet, he lost the booklet to his suit when the aliens came down to give it to him, and yeah, it, the special effects were not the greatest at the time. It really doesn't hold up today. I kind of, I kind of wish they would do a remake of this series, but to do it justice, to really make it cool and special. But I don't think they're ever going to ma match the magic that they had. Even though the special effects are, are really bad, and they are, I still love this series. Those, so those are a couple of the TV show series. I have more, but I'll present those in another day. These ones here are kind of are kind of special to me. And of course, what I showed in the thumbnail is the Stephen King box set of 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 seven different types of either TV series, there's like movies or TV collection. Now it goes from we have well we have the stand, which which is which is probably my favorite thing on on here the Langoliers which is the worst thing on here <laughs> then there's the Golden Years which is uh, okay it was like a it was a, a, a kind of a mini series then you have the Dead Zone which is really good because that has uh, Christopher Watkins it's actually really good the original Pet Cemetery, which I do actually want to get the uh, to get the remake because I still like that too. I, I like how they 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 fooled you into thinking it was going to be a shot for shot remake of the, but they changed the they changed the plot just enough to keep you on your edge and oh I, I really liked it. Then there's Stephen King's Silver Bullet, which I really liked it, and then there's a Stephen King's Great Graveyard Shift, so. This is a seven, a seven movie cool box that uh, I I really enjoy. I I need to go back and rewatch some of these. Not the Langoliers, maybe not the Golden Years, but the other ones are are are, are decent, are fine. Now, transitioning into movie box sets that I have, and of course, I I, I have to I have the Ghostbusters, yeah, and just want to give. Another shout out like to uh, to Larry Graves, who also goes by Canadian Stud Muffin, on his uh, Larry Graves ASMR video today, which he was showing an old, older, older videos of him review, reviewing and rating his uh, his his DVD sets, and he showed and he showed, of course, his. Ghostbusters box set, which is different than mine. Mine is the uh, double feature gift set, and I, I have this one here. I will open because it is actually pretty cool. Because I get the first movie like that, you know, and then I get the second movie like that. I know I should be rating these sets, but I give them pretty much. I like except like the star. Okay, the Star Trek. I give a ten out of ten. The Greatest American Hero, I, because the special effects are so bad, I give that I give that an eight out of ten. The Stephen King, because some of the stories are not as cool, like the Langoliers, the the special effects in that is really really crappy. They could have did so much better. I give that I give that like a seven out of ten. These these I actually give like a, a nine out of ten. So there's Ghostbuster, Ghostbusters one and Ghostbusters two. But what I like about this box set, it actually has a really cool uh, a movie scrapbook that has some cool pencil drawings. Like you can see that I never open it because it's still pretty stiff to open, and I and I don't like to open it all the way because I don't like to. But it has it has cool 
forward has a lot of uh, like it shows like little uh, storyboard things there with the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. How the the design of the logo, which I've drawn that many times, and I and I was able to draw that perfect, perfect, especially in especially in high school, because this came out. Here's some. The, here's some plans, like how how they were thinking about doing the the Ghostbusters uh, logos and everything. So they, of course, they they settled on a on a good logo, which is awesome. Some more some more storyboards and 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 so on. Some characters developments with uh, with uh, Dana and Lewis. And then Slimer and the Stay Puff and and so on and so forth. It's it's really it's a really nice little booklet to have. So I had to kind of show that because it, it's really beautiful. I, I I like this little box set for Ghostbusters. I mean I would rate the first one a ten out of ten for sure. But the second one, I would give an 8 out of 10 because it's not as good as the first one. But I still really love it. Now, going to the next series that I, that I have, of course, for movies. It's the Back to the Future trilogy. And this is the 30th anniversary box set, which has plenty of all new bonus features. Like, it, it's... Everything you would want to know about the Back to the Future trilogy is all pretty much in here. I love this box set. And, yeah, it, basically it's all three movies. The I I mean, when the first one came out, that was like, it, it blew my mind because it was so cool and so awesome. But for me, personally, I really loved the whole second one. I loved them going into the future and, and just that... Even though it didn't really come to be the future that they predicted, like really, some stuff they got on point, but a lot of it they didn't. But I always liked that second one. I thought it was really cool and really captivating. And yeah, I, I liked the second movie slightly better. I give the first movie a 10 out of 10. I give the, the second movie a 10 out of 10. But personally, I kind of like the second movie a little bit better, but they're still rated 10 out of 10. And then the third one, going back in the West, I was never a Western type of fan. I, I wasn't a, always I wasn't a big fan of Westerns. I would give that a, a 9 out of 10 because I still really love it. It's still part of the Back to the Future trilogy, but it was never it was it was my least favorite out of the three. Yeah, I, I'm. They they gave Doc a love story rather than than you know, Marty because Marty had a love story at the beginning, especially with uh, his girlfriend Jennifer and everything. And although I didn't like the fact that Jennifer got kind of got a back seat in the in the second movie, I still love that future stuff, and that's why I really liked it. So, all in all, I give the whole series a 10 out of 10 for sure, because I, I love the Back to the Future. Some people say, people may say, well, it's been overplayed. They play it on TV too much. I don't watch TV. If I want to see, see, you know, how it's intended, I love watching the DVDs rather than watching TV. Even when it comes to uh, TV series, I I, re I don't watch anything on TV. I hate TV. I hate commercials. I always try to buy the DVD sets. And I will show you some of my other sets there in, in future videos. Not now, but probably in a couple of, couple of, about a month or so. And now the last box set, DVD box set for movies I want to show you. And I was actually surprised how much, when I first heard about it, I thought, oh no, it's one of those teenage kind of, kind of, Maybe for girls and stuff, but it's not. I really love this box set. And this is the 8-disc Hunger Games. And, yeah, I love it. For each movie, because as you know, it has the, you have the, the, 
it's three it's three movies but they cut the the, the third one into 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 four parts oh well into, well two movies and then another two movies for the for the last chapter but and again each movie has a second disc of special features that that yeah i need to re-watch those special features again i need to watch this whole box set again because because i really do like the story i do love everything about it much more than i was originally thought because i i had seen the first one and i said oh you know that's actually really cool and then then i had then i saw the box set and then I had to buy it, and and then I watched the rest of the series from from this, and yeah, I I fallen I fallen in love with uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, she's 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 awesome. I really like her. I like her. I like her in other movies too. But but yeah, this set is one of, yeah one of my favorite things. So that is, and I, and I rate this again a 10 out of 10 because I love everything about this. I like all the movies equally. There, I can't, none, not one of them stands out more than the other. I mean, I, I think the first one is, is really awesome because it sets up the world. But I find the quality does get a little bit better each movie as it goes along. And, and it has the, uh, you know, it has a... What's his name there? Seymour Hoffman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all, it's all, it's all really, really, really great stuff. So that is my box set that I wanted to show you for in that's in my collection. Like I said, I do have more that I want to present in future videos. Like I've already showed, like briefly showed you my my matrix box set and my quentin tarantino box set. you can go back and look at that i'm going to, at the end of this video very soon i'm going to be leaving right here the the uh link to my 10 favorite movies of all time and so if you haven't seen that yet you can check that out so i'm going to leave it right here and like uh, as always please be safe Take care. I will see you on the flip side. And please have a great day, evening, night, wherever you may be. Peace, everyone.